Yeah, hello YouTube, this is VK7VZ, uh, Robert, and um, this is a, a video on my twin MRF 1K80H uh, amplifier that I built uh, back in March this year. Uh, most of the boards in here are um, from a gentleman in Russia. Uh, there is two boards in here that I've actually reworked that come from a, uh, the same gentleman in Melbourne uh, that uh, I was having all those problems with with the MRF boards. But anyway, that aside, I did uh, do a little bit of work to those, um, playing with the caps until I got the tune looking good on, on the antenna analyzer, or better than what it was. Um, I've also done a little bit of work with the coax lamp coming from the splitter and going to the uh, tandem match board. And I've still got a little bit more fiddling to do because um, when I'm in the seven megs filter, um, I'm reducing a bit of power, a bit more than I should be. So generally you just play with the length of this. I might make it a little bit longer with a loop in it. And because um, 20 meters is absolutely uh, on fire and uh, 40, yeah, it lags a little, not much, but I want to try and level it out. Okay, so I'll just give you a quick rundown. That's our current protect board. Uh, these two devices shut the 50 volts off in, a, in, in less than a heartbeat. It's really, really quick. And uh, it senses SWR to the filter, SWR to the antenna, over current. So, you know, you can set the current limit. If the amp tries to use more, it uh, will go into protect. Of course, uh, you can just pull the antenna out of these things and it'll just go in to protect. You know, you can be banging away at 2,400 watts, pull the um, coax out and it instantly goes in to protect. So um, well worth, well worth having. Um, here I was just connected up and looking at it with the voltmeter. And I was monitoring current, but that battery has died. I'm gonna get another nine volt battery. Never seem to have enough nine volt batteries playing around. But anyway, the, um, you know, at the back, the signal comes in and uh, down here is a 6 dB 100 watt attenuator going into a 6 dB 50 watt attenuator. And then that goes into a splitter. Um, basically, the signal came into the, uh, the PTTs here and then went you know, down into the attenuators and then into the splitter. Uh, it comes out of the splitter and goes into the two amp boards uh, right here on the side. The other side's uh, hidden under the wire. Goes through the amplifier and uh, basically comes out of the amplifier into this power combiner. Out of the power combiner and back into the tandem match board where um, when you go into transmit it then sends it to the filter. It's a pretty hefty filter this one. Um, it's been bench tested and tested inside. I thought there may be some detuning having it next to the alloy radiator but there was zero. So uh, I'm quite happy with that. You've got a fairly decent sized radiator. It's 240 mil long. Um, we're running a computer water pump there. And uh, down here, I made my own water box. So there's a substantial amount of water volume in that box. It really takes a long time to get this thing to heat up. And with the radiator, it's uh, very efficient at getting rid of that heat. So I'm not really having heat troubles with it. Um, so, you know, being put together nicely, I, I think it's been put together nicely. I have an engineering mate that reckons it looks pretty good. G'day Graham, if you're watching. Anyway, so let's do a little bit of testing. Um, I'll give a quick quick demo with the bird, because, you know, people like to, to see the bird. But uh, I'll talk softly into the mic, it's just going to totally uh, peg the, the bird to the stop. Um, so here we go, I'll plug the bird in, um, I've even got a probe on the, uh, on the dummy load just to make sure we're not getting the dummy load too hot. Um, can handle 1600 watts uh, for a while, uh, but on sideband it's not really a problem, so uh, what have we got here? Um, we got 100 watts in the, in the radio, one two, one two. And on the amplifier, if we can get it to come up, uh, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. 
26.10 there. And one, two, three, four, five. We just nail, nail the bird. The bird just gets hammered. So we'll uh, pull the bird out. It's not like I held the bird on the stopper. <laughs> Sorry, Brendan. Um, but people want to see it uh, showing on the bird. And that bird is uh, a little bit uh, low in its reading. Uh, the icon puts out a good solid 100 watts and uh, only shows up about 80 on the bird. So it could be 20% out. Who knows when it was last calibrated. Um, it's got a 1,000 watt slug. Um, you know, that may not be for this bird. That slug may never have been calibrated on, on that bird. Who knows? Um, but 80 watts shows, uh, sorry, 100 watts out of the, the ICOM here shows up 80 on the bird and um, it's about the same but still I use the bird because um, it's a bird and it and it's telling me a kilowatt so when it told me a kilowatt I uh, basically set this up for one kilowatt um, now that we're no longer connected to the bird uh, testing one two one two three testing one two one two three you know we uh, got the bar graph on the stop and this thing's holding the peak watt. Bear in mind, this is a 2,500 watt meter, so I'm pretty impressed it's actually showing 26. Uh, but we're, we're at its limit, we're probably a little bit over that. But uh, it's only simple, this one, we've got temperature there, we've got filters there, um, it's manually controlled filters. I was gonna do automatic, but I figured no manual would do. We've got three fans on a 240 mil radiator. Uh, again, we'll get back to the watt meter. Um, under the grill here, we've got uh, the protect lights. At the moment, that's the PTT. Turn that off. But if you do something stupid, you'll have an SWR, a high amperage or excessive power light come on. So you know what's stripped and what you've got to do to resolve the problem. Um, here we've got uh, green is 12 volts on, red is uh, 50 volts on, and we've got a, res a reset switch and a main power off on. So she's pretty simple on the front. Um, the whole idea of this thing is it was gonna go under a table, you know, where you'd never get to see it. But anyway, um, I'll drop the mic. It's still at only 28, ambient here is about 21 at the moment. So um, it sort of holds a good temperature. If you're gonna do digital, you'd obviously turn it down or AM or FM, turn it back some so you're not um, bumping it with a dirty great big carrier um okay so we'll come back i'll key the radio out we'll come back to this we've got a fan here blowing air over the um the filters we've got the big 240 mil fan there with the free fans in the front they go all the time at a constant speed i did play around with um turning them off and bringing them on and doing all sorts of weird stuff i even had uh, speed controllers but i found if i just leave them on um, they're not real noisy, they constantly blow air over everything and um, the thing doesn't really get hot. Um, you know, none of the ferrites are too hot to touch. Um, leave the hand, this, this unit just doesn't really get hot. But uh, unfortunately in the motorhome it's such a big, it's uh, a big computer case. I mean if I stand back and show you it compared to the 7300, you know, there's only so much room in a motorhome and um the other issue is you know um do i really need it and i built it because i could but do i really need it and the answer is no and it just takes up a lot of room i've got a single mrf 1k 80h that i run in the van um there's no issues with with you know the eight amp sockets that i've got in there well the system's on an eight eight amp breaker auto reset breaker and i don't want to muck around with it so sadly um it's time for somebody who can use it. Um, hopefully somebody in VK, somebody who's got a nice big fat dummy load on top of their tower and wants to show their mates um, how warm they can get their dummy load. Uh, this would be the one for you. Um, I'll put an email address in the uh, info section just under this video. And uh, you know, if you're interested, uh, give me a call. You know, all I can say is at our Aussie limit of 400 watts, um, it's going to last a very, very long time. It is super clean. It doesn't produce a lot of harmonics anyway. 
and uh, even driven hard it's uh, you know you only lose 200 uh, watts through the filter when it's driven flat out so it's it's a very very nice clean unit very robust it's it's unbreakable let's be honest so if someone in vk would seize this and would like to um to uh, buy it have a look for my email address in the comment section and uh, hit me up you never know how i look at it the spe 2k fa which produces about 1850 watts if you've got a good one um, and it, you've got a perfectly matched dummy load uh, it's air cooled it's not water cooled okay it may have a tuner in there uh, we don't have a tuner here but this is a water cooled uh, 2600 watt amplifier and remember the uh, 2kfa is measuring power before the filter and last checked they were about ten thousand dollars i don't want ten thousand dollars for this but uh you know uh, what does a 1500 watt or a two kilowatt manual antenna tuner cost you um, and if you bought this say for half of a brand new uh, SPE 2KFA and you had to add the tuner I think you're miles in front and you're not going to get any of those uh, you know electronic things that fail it's a nice manual tuner and uh, this is a nice solid Russian made uh, amplifier boards um, so yeah there you go if that interests you get in touch with me and we'll see what we can do I'm on the air most days talking to uh, Steve and the boys in the morning um, so you know I, i'm not really going to discuss prices there but uh it, it has been running in those morning sessions for quite a while until i finally built that uh, 1200 watt one albeit um at our legal limit and i can report it doesn't get hot and doesn't uh doesn't produce any nasties down there at 400 watts it's super clean but anyway there you go that's the uh 2400 watt uh twin mrf 1k 80h um, if you feed them 63 volts and you've got enough current uh, they'll happily make 3600 watts out and uh, under the bench here i've actually got a 60 volt 80 amp uh, flat pack power supply for someone crazy enough to want to get 3600 watts um, into their town mounted dummy load uh, what's that called a, a db42 i'm not sure um step ir or something they're they're big dummy loads aren't they but anyway this uh, filter board is only rated for 2500 watts so if you do go up to uh, 60 volts or up to 63 i think you can go as high as 65 on these devices it's the same device that's in the um the spe 1.5k um, and I think they're running them up around that 58, 60 volt mark. Bear in mind, the lower the voltage you run these on, the more robust they are. And uh, at 53 volts, they are very robust. Uh, as you've seen, we're getting 2,600 watts out at 53 volts. So if you go up to 60, um, it's going to do a lot more than 3,000 and uh, probably blow the ass out of that. But if you're prepared to make a bigger filter for it, and we've got plenty of room in here it's just a matter of redoing the lines um then i guess you know if you really want to heat up a uh, 3600 watt dummy load on your tower then this is the unit for you anyway we'll call it off we'll give it one more hit um show the radio there's no there's no magic here uh that's the icon 7300 at 100 watts and uh there we go we're at 2614 um, and that's measured 2614 is being measured before the filters and uh, there you go now unfortunately guys i don't have a, a uh, watt meter that can show the wattage out but um you know there's there's not a lot of power being dropped at 1k so um less than 100 watts so i'm guessing it'd be about 200 watts at full drive as i said these uh mrfs are, are nice and clean but uh, you know if you just want to sit there and look at your dummy load heat up and uh, look at the meter doing that and impress your friends um, yeah well it, it's probably really good for that <laughs> if you were thinking of buying an SPE 2k FA but you don't have a spare 10 grand sitting there um, give me a call we can work something out uh, this is VK7VZ email address uh, in the comment section 
Seventy-threes. <laughs>